Hey, what's up street gods? Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. So I want to give you a video explanation on why I think you should start your own photography blog, blog, whatever. So currently here in an epic back alley in Saigon. And so this is my this is my reason. Okay, so first of all, I think you I think uh, YouTube is really awesome and it's the future for photography and everything. And I think Instagram is a little bit overrated. So the reason why Instagram is not so good is that it is such a reductive platform which doesn't allow us to innovate as much and innovate as freely. And the reason why I think YouTube is awesome is that it really kind of gives us the opportunity to share our lives, share our thoughts, and share our world philosophies. So the great thing with photography and vlogging is that even if no one else saw your photos, at least you can make the stuff for yourself. And yeah, I think photography is so amazing and the world is kind of an awesome place. Yeah, man. Just stepped inside of Family Mart here in Hanoi. Anyways, the funny thing with being a vlogger is actually the truth is you actually kind of get more legitimacy. Is that, you know, if you say I have an Instagram, people are like, oh, okay, not a big deal, you have an Instagram, whatever. But if you're a photographer, you're a vlogger, you're making YouTube videos, you kind of have a little more prestige, like even nowadays when people say, oh, you know, you have a blog, you have a blog, you have a YouTube channel, people are like so impressed by it. Whereas if you have an Instagram, it's kind of not a big deal. But the funny thing is that anybody could be a YouTuber because anyone can make a YouTube account and anyone can shoot videos nowadays. All you need is a phone, an iPad, anything that records video. You see a lot of people with these fancy setups, it's totally not necessary. But if you wanted even a simple setup, I would actually highly recommend the Panasonic Lumix cameras or the Panasonic GH5 series or uh, I'm currently using the, the Lumix G9. It's actually technically a still camera, but it actually works really well for videos as well. And the, the great thing is that the autofocus on these things are so good and even for a microphone, you don't even have to buy an external mic, just we'll get whatever mic. Uh, and then pick up just like one of those little fuzzy road mic things, get on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. So I think the reason why you should make your own YouTube channel is that you'll be a fun documentation of your life experiences and there's so much video content you can put out there. You don't just have to be shooting vlogs yourself on, you know, doing super exotic, interesting things. You can even do video slideshows of your photos. You could interview yourself, you can interview other people, you can share tips. And also the great thing about YouTube is that it's a lot more open as a platform and easily accessible by anybody. And think about it this way, two, three-year-old kids use YouTube but they don't use Instagram. So I think just as a strategy, it's better to concentrate your efforts into certain platforms and I think YouTube is actually one of those. Also the great thing with YouTube is you know, eventually if you want to monetize, you can put ads on it, make money that way. Whereas Instagram, there's not yet uh, an effective way to do that. And so I think that for photographers, essentially YouTube is the future for photographers and internet entrepreneurs, not so much Instagram. I mean, I think right now Instagram is actually really good in the sense that there's tons of engagement on, you, on Instagram. You'll get a lot of likes and followers and get sponsorships, whatever. But the downside of Instagram is I think it's just going to essentially become another Facebook where it just becomes cluttered and essentially people are going to flee the platform for the next big, big thing, which I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be yet. So some ideas for starting your own YouTube channel. Once again, just use your iPhone, just use the selfie mode, just walk on the streets, record yourself. If you actually do have money to invest in a video camera setup, I'd recommend once again a Panasonic Lumix GH5, GH5S if you don't care for image stabilization. If you want to do photography and video, I would highly recommend the Lumix G9, which I currently have. I have that and I have the 12 millimeter Lumix lens, which is effectively a 24 millimeter full frame uh, equivalent lens focal length. And also I have this Rode video mic. It's about 150 bucks. It's, it's pretty big and it has that big fuzzy thing on the, the top, but I think the audio quality is pretty good, especially if you want to do more kind of walking, vlogging type things, especially when you're living in a place like freaking Saigon where it's so loud. Even the noise isolation on this thing is not as good as I would like it. But anyways, yeah, the reason why you should make your own YouTube channel 
is once again it's open, it's free, you can upload infinite gigabytes of information like some of these videos that I shot are like 16 gigabytes now essentially that our internet speeds are faster almost any modern still digital camera could shoot 4k your freaking iPhone could shoot 4k and yeah like I really do think it's the the future for photographers and it also supports native virtual reality 360 content I see a lot more people getting into that yeah so once again if you want to think about the future of your photography and become a photography entrepreneur start your own YouTube channel start today start uploading videos don't worry about being good don't worry about the like subscriber numbers whatever just make content that you would be interested in consuming and just have fun with it just fuck around with it don't take it too seriously and uh, if you want to find more information check out my course photography entrepreneurship um, it's pretty dope it's pretty awesome it's a distillation of everything I've personally learned from photography and once again just know that you have the power to control your own destiny and fate and check out cool places like if you're in Vietnam oh this coffee shop is insane so much nicer than anywhere else in the States and we're gonna go back to work so once again remember to always enjoy your life smile and have a heart full of gratitude peace out